Lovelies, welcome to my channel. This is episode three of Leveling the Beach. So the the digger's practically finished. He's making his way back. I'll just come down to the beach and show you what's been going on. And on this day, which is Thursday, the planet Jupiter is going retrograde. So there's quite a difference in the energy today, quite a difference in the level of the beach. You can see it's got more of a slope. The sheer droppers have been flattened out. But this is where they were they've been working. Today, I hope this picks up my voice all right because it's quite windy. And there's one or two folks out sunbathing, <laughs> which is interesting to say the least. Tucked away in the corner over there. So you'll be able to see as we reach this little bit how steep the incline is. They flattened out quite a lot of it, so it must have been at least 50 feet, 50 feet high. I don't know what that is in millipedes. I so said there's been a process this whole week with planets going retrograde, Pluto, Venus and Jupiter. And so when you see things happening externally, you can see how the energies of the planets are showing up in real time. So there's a little bit more to do here as you can see. Well, I guess the digger will be back tomorrow to finish this little bit off. waves have changed as well slightly. Ebb and the flow of them. So I've asked my team, I said, what do you want me to talk about apart from flattening the beach? Uh, and they said fortitude. I said, okay, fortitude. And they, my lot do have a tendency to use big words, which I don't know what they mean till I look them up in their dictionary. So I know it's not coming from me. I do love words. I love how they're constructed and their origins. And some of them have multiple meanings. So I feel the fortitude that we've had and that we possibly need a little bit longer is that ability to keep on keeping on so even though many levels of our lives have been halted and shifted and changed and uprooted and as you can see from the pebbles thrown about a bit um, there is this fortitude within us which allows for something someone some being some energy to come along and straighten things out for us 
It is not as though we are without power. And I feel for an awful lot of us, we've been finding that power within us that we didn't actually know we had. It's been dormant in many people. We've given it away. And it may have been through many lifetimes that also may stem from our family bloodline. So the programming, the patterning in our families. If nobody's ever stood up to the bully or the authority figures and just allowed life to happen around them, you might be the one that actually breaks the pattern. You might that might be one of the reasons why you landed on this planet. And you said, No, enough, I'm not carrying that programming, I'm not carrying that pattern. hearing the, the word wayfaring. Yeah. So that is sort of attributed to sailors and journeymen and journeyers and travellers faring across a way or through a way. Way showers. So I feel that a way has been shown to many of us through this extraordinary time that we would not have seen otherwise. We would have just been getting on with our busy lives and whizzing around all over the place. But a way is being shown. We are faring, wayfaring. Faring quite well, really. I say fare thee well. Farewell, which isn't really goodbye. It's, I wish you well in all that you do. I love the way this scene changes throughout the year. It's burgeoning now. All the different greens, lime green, yellow green, and the dark bold greens. Green is associated with the heart, heart energy, with love. And if you notice, the predominant colour on this planet is green. The plants and the trees and the shrubs. So with the planet recovering in many ways throughout this respite for her. I know I've noticed a lot more greenery. And more of a feeling of Loving things, loving what I see, loving what I experience, the good and the bad. Oh, here he comes, the digger's coming back. He's coming back. 
me back for another go. Oh, he's got a bit of wood there. Which I assume he's going to use to smooth out the pebbles. So again, to do with fortitude, this is how we utilise things to hand to assist us in a certain endeavour. So we'll follow along, see what he's up to. Notice what you notice, pay attention to things, and the things that you pay attention to become activated. So just being very aware of what not to focus on. Whoop, down he goes. Um, so we're not focusing on the doom and the gloom and the negative things. Oh, it looks like they're going to be mending the. Ooh, there he is. Mending the causeway there. <laughs> Reminds me of a, a dog with a stick in his mouth. And he lays it down, and just as you're about to go and pick it up, he picks it, he picks it up and rushes off with it. But, <laughs> not happening in this case. So, oh. so there's some mending being done, there's some repair work apart from flattening out the beach and uh, levelling off the pebbles. There is some repair work being done as well to the causeway, which is also an interesting word. It's another way, it's a causeway. So the causes that we have in our lives, we do certain things for a cause or be cause. So there is more than one way. Other ways are being made for us to step upon in the not too distant future. So like with the flattening of the beach. It's a bigger job than I thought it was going to be, so and it's very interesting that it's happening this week with such intense planetary activity, all these three planets going retrograde. But it's also the ideal time to do it. So if some of you have been flagging during this time, if you've tried to stay positive all the time, it's something that it's impossible for any of us to do, to 
to have felt low and gloomy and hopeless and helpless at times. And that is part of the process, it's going through the gamut of emotions. And when we come out the other end, we see how strong we actually are. And with uh, the planet Jupiter, it is the largest planet in our solar system and it's called the Great Benefic, which means it is, it's a goodie, it's, a, it's beneficial. Um, it's Father Christmas, brings good things and it expands things in our lives. So over these next few weeks and months, things that we've been maybe planning on or working on or drawing up a blueprint for, it won't be long before you can actually manifest it, bring it into reality. I'm using this view here as a metaphor for all of us. Some bit, somebody, something, some energy is working on our behalf, repairing things, levelling things, putting things to right. It's working with the earth energies and the water energies, so the, the shore and the ocean. So I'll return tomorrow and we'll see how it's changed again. How things might have changed in your lives. So if you like to comment, like, share and subscribe, that would be lovely. Thanks again for watching my lovies. Lots of love. Bye.